Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video we'll continue working on the forward cabin of our Sea Line SC35 project boat. In the previous video we trimmed and fitted the new fiberglass bed parts together to form a complete bed module. So next we need to prepare the forward cabin ready to fit the new bed. So let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so today we are going to be removing the plug, the original factory plug which is made of wood uh, so that we can get our new fiberglass master bed mould in place. So first thing we're going to do is take these side pieces off uh, all the way around here and then we'll do the same over here as well and then we're going to mark that uh, this surface here on the on the hole so that we've got a, a datum point so we know where to put the new bed moulding and then we're also going to take some digital measurements with this uh, spirit level, digital spirit level just so we've got some some more reference points as well and I think we'll probably also take just a couple of measurements from here down onto this surface here. We'll probably do that in a couple of spots. Again, just so we know exactly where the new moulding needs to go. And then for those people that perhaps aren't familiar with this factory tool and how it's put together, this was how the factory put this tool together or mould together. Uh, so it's just made of pieces of wood and pieces of plywood here. And then they use filler in the corner here and that would have made the, the radiuses on the outside. So yeah, we couldn't use this. I know we've been asked a few times if we could use this bed, but we can't. It's far too heavy. Um, it cracks really easily as well. You can see that it's here, it's, it's cracking all the time, which was a problem we were constantly having when we were trying to take molds off this, was it was constantly moving and cracking. So uh, quick, we kept having to, to fit it and polish it. But yeah, so you can see all the way around how that's done in the factory, which is quite, kind of quite interesting. Um, and also, of course, um, this is extremely heavy. Uh, we, you know, we, we estimate there's probably, there might be half a ton of, of wood in here and filler, and um, it, it soon adds up. So with that in mind, let's uh, make a start and let's get this cut out. So quick update as to where we're at. So we've managed to remove one side. We've just got this piece down here to remove and then that'll be done. And then you can see over here, just show you where we've marked. We've marked on the, the hole where the tool sat before. So hopefully when the new part goes in, we can use that as a, as a datum point. And we've also marked up on the ceiling here, taking some measurements uh, down onto the, onto the bed. So again, hopefully, that will give us some dating points so we get it spot on when we put the new part in. And then you can see how they actually stuck um, the plug in place. It was just held in with 
some sort of silicone or glue, but yeah, not particularly secure. So let's keep on moving and let's get this side out next. we took out the ankle locker as well we've kept that so we can use it as a template uh, so that's looking really good now so we just need to get this all cleaned up so we're going to get in here with a, a hoover and a sweeping brush and just get the hull cleaned up and also we've just got a little bit of uh, glue on the sides of the hull so we're going to see if we can get rid of some of that as well although it's not affecting us too much but it'd be nice to get it gone so let's keep moving and let's get the hull cleaned up So we've given the hull uh, a quick clean, just a quick once over. So that looks a lot better now. And then we've also managed to peel off um, some of the laminate or glassing that had been done that created a, a bit of a lip that was used to hold the, the tool in place, but also the front bulkhead. So that pulled off pretty easily actually. So obviously not been um, keyed properly. So a good job we managed to pull that off and we'll be able to do that properly. So we just need to now pull this off but it's towards the end of the day so I think we're going to struggle to get that off now but what we are going to do is just get a couple of the sides up and just do a quick test fit and see if the bed will fit. guys so we've got the two side mouldings in just balanced in place at the moment so we're still going to have to make uh, some cuts at the top here and also we're going to have to make uh, some cuts down here we're going to have to scribe this to um, this stringer down here that comes up through the back here so and then also we need to cut across here because we've extended the mould a little bit when we made it so that, that, that one's cut enough as well but it looks 
Amazing, looks really good. Really pleased with this, aren't we? We are really, really pleased, yes. Yeah. Trying not to move too much because it might fall full. <laughs> it is balanced, it, balanced. Literally balanced, <laughs> but yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Looks like really happy with that. Yeah. Transformed it. So, and then all we need to do next is, we've, we've just been talking today, we're gonna get this floor made up next, and then that means we can get the center piece in here, and then that can all get bolted together and glassed in. So that's gonna be a wrap for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.